Imagine a mirror universe where every particle of matter has a counterpart with an opposite charge. Welcome to the world of antimatter, a realm that could unlock the secrets of the universe or destroy it. Think of it as the opposite twin of matter, with the same mass but an opposite charge. When antimatter meets matter, they annihilate each other, releasing immense energy. Here's the conundrum. Why does our universe predominantly consist of matter when the Big Bang should have forged equal amounts of matter and antimatter? At CERN, the world's largest physics laboratory, particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider are essential in advancing our understanding of the antimatter mystery. In their pursuit, scientists attempt to trap antimatter. First, we need the projectiles. Picture a marble you want to shoot on a tunnel. Scientists first release a gas in the chamber. A normal atom has the same number of positive and negative charges, but something neutral has no charge so it can't be moved by electrical fields. So they zap or heat a gas, like hydrogen. That kick knocks an electron off the atom. An atom missing electrons becomes positively charged, an ion. Those are your marbles you want to shoot. Next, those charged particles are sped up, sometimes nearly to the speed of light. He's using electric fields inside accelerators. Imagine pushing the marbles faster and faster along a racetrack. But here's the exciting part. Two particles are fired at the same time in opposite directions, destined to collide. Then the speedy particles end up meeting each other. When they crash, the energy can transform into new particles and antiparticles. Finally, scientists must find the antiparticles among the debris by analyzing their behavior. But these antiparticles are still racing at near light speed. So they're sent through a series of decelerators, which use electric fields in reverse to gradually drain their energy. Now the slowed antiparticles are stored inside a magnetic and electric bottle called a penning trap. But creating antimatter is no small feat. Producing just one gram could cost over $60 trillion, making it the most expensive substance on Earth. Today, antimatter isn't just fantasy. It's found in medical imaging these devices use a tiny amount of antimatter. Positrons, produced by radioactive tracers, annihilate with electrons inside the body and produce two gamma rays that the PET scanner detects. In the future, it might even propel spacecraft across the stars. Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, tells us a tiny mass can become a colossal amount of energy. One gram of antimatter plus one gram of matter releases roughly the same energy as 21 kilotons of TNT. For interstellar travel, every gram matters. Understanding antimatter may shine a light on the forces that govern our universe.